Hello everyone. Today I have the video to show you about how to do the gel filling. Yes, um, I have so many video about acrylic filling, but the gel filling, um, I don't think I have much video at all. Yeah, so um, to do the gel filling, it um the way you do it it really similar to the acrylic filling too but the different thing is about the you know when you apply the gel on yes so um before i start to um put the gel on um i i try to like clean it very good first and first of all i try to um shape it uh, before I put the gel on too because this a this is the fast way you know if you don't shape it first you just take longer you know it's okay but it just take longer girl, to do it so um, after you clean it very good and um, cut it you know one customer want to cut it you just you cut it and um uh after that i try to clean underneath to before i put the glue on so if you don't clean it good the water it could get into the nail and then it could be like lifting and turn green or something like that you know so um to be uh, good you better clean it good and then put the uh, um, glue on it. So normally, sometimes, you know, I uh, it really depends on customer nail. Some customer nail, uh, they are like really deep on the top. So I try to clean it on the top too to uh, get rid of the dead skin and the dirty all the dirty uh, around the nail this way uh, when you apply the gel it stay good so after that I put the glue on yes that is the way I do at the salon you know so after I put the glue on I I try to like shape it first before I apply the gel like I said uh, I rather to do that than put the gel and then shape it later on it's it doesn't matter whatever you do but this is the fast way to do it it save more time than uh, you apply gel and then shape it later on okay so after I file her nail, I apply the primer of the gel on it. And the primer is so important. If you don't put it, it could make um, the, the gel lifting easily. It's not stay, you know. So uh, after that, I now I, tr I uh, start to apply the gel. Normally, I always apply to the thumb first because the thumb, when you dry, dry it on the light it kind of like go to the side so i apply the thumb first and let her dry it flat on the top so this way the gel it's not uh go to the side you know the gel is a little bit different from acrylic that you cannot just uh you have to be fast you know to do it you have to be fast if you're not fast enough uh the gel it will uh flow to the side and uh, then it get onto the skin and then it could be lifting you know and if you are just learning you could just do one by one like put one nail and then you could dry but for me i apply all of them because i do it fast you know if you do it fast it's okay but if you don't do it fast enough you could do just one by one and to apply the the gel you, you can see i apply like just very little and then try to uh, tap it to the side to make it smooth yes 
and I don't apply it a lot, you know. We don't have to put it a lot. We just put the enough gel to be to make the nail have the shape good. That's it. See that? So we don't have to waste the gel to put it too much and then drill it uh, down. So after I put the gel on, I let her dry two minutes and then I put the alcohol. This is the alcohol. Uh, it's not to remove it, it's to make it dry. So the gel nail, it's always need um, to dry uh, on the light and then after that dry with the alcohol too. Okay. So after that, after dry with alcohol, I try to like reshape it again. Yeah. To shape it again and again and again until finish. <laughs> okay, and um, this nail, the customer, she like almond shape. So the almond shape, you have to like um, shape it side to side and uh, make it like on the top a little bit smaller yes so to do the nail it really important with the shape if you shape good it's good but if you don't shape good it's not good either so uh, by the shape you better good with it too you know it really important it just like the people the shape is really important. Okay, so after I shape it, I like to clean underneath again one more time. And this way, the customer, they feel smooth. They don't pick on it and uh, the nails stay longer, you know. If you don't smooth it good, they feel something underneath. They keep picking on it and then... That is the problem too that make the nail not stay good. And after that I I drill it to just smooth it. I don't I I don't put a lot of gel so I don't have to take too long to drill it, you know. So I just like drill very very um thinly on the top very little to just to shape the nail and smooth it good this way when i polish the polish smooth and good yeah this is the way that i do it for customer in my salon so a lot of customer they really like the way we do it in here that's why they keep coming back because the way we do it we do it like really thin and very smooth and um, also uh, stay, you know. It is really important that it look really natural, thin and stay good for three or four weeks. Now, it um, some customer, they stay until like four weeks, five weeks to come back to redo it you know before they come every two weeks and then they go up to three weeks they go up to f four weeks and then now they go to like for five weeks and then i'm like oh my goodness when i do too good and then the customer not coming back every two or three weeks <laughs> they go up to five weeks okay so after i drill it smooth normally i always use the paper one the last time the first time you use the paper one and then the last time you use that paper one too to just mold it again very good and uh you know some places they don't use that paper but you know it really depend on you like for me, I like to smooth it like really, really good. This way when I polish, the polish, it stay good and smooth. That's why I'd rather to take a little bit time, a lot of stuff, but it, you know, the nail, it just come out good. And when, the, when you do good, customer keep coming back. That all matter, you know. Okay, so... This is um, uh, the last step 
after you drill with the, the paper one yeah you kind of just pop it yeah so after that I just pop it so the way uh, I pop it I also show you before to so just bob the top the side and side and when you bob don't do it too hard you know because when you do it too hard it's change the shape too so after I bob it I kind of like try to cut cut the, the cuticle that it really needed like the one that it really thick or something like that just like very little yes after that polish you know and the polish is really important too when you polish you have to make sure on the top of the nail need to be like round and you have to polish good everywhere yes top and to the side everywhere you have to be covered with the polish and the customer that come to my salon, they are picky because they know we always give them good job. I mean, if you don't do the way we do, they kind of know very quick. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is it. So this is finish. So this is a gel filling and gel polish on top. Okay, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for everyone for always support my video. And then I will um, have more video for you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.